Atlantic Salmon, Salmo Salar. The Atlantic Salmon is found on both sides of the Atlantic, in North America as well as in Europe. It starts its life in early spring in a small river or brook. For the first five to six weeks, it lives mainly on the yolk that is still attached to it. The young salmon is then known as an elevin. When the yolk sac disappears, the fish is known as a par. The par stays in the brook, and here it lives on small insects, snails, and other animals. It usually takes two to three years for it to grow to be six inches long. At this time, it is called a smolt. The smolt travels down the river and into the sea, and in the sea the salmon grows very fast during the summer. It lives on the shrimp and squid found in plankton. Some of the animals it eats contain the same substance that gives carrots their orange color. When the salmon eats them, the color substance, which is called carotene, is deposited in the flesh. This is what gives salmon meat its reddish color. In the plankton, the salmon finds plenty of food. It grows very fast. Some may put on as much as one pound of weight per month. Some may grow to weight as much as 50 pounds. The salmon stay out at sea for about four years before they start traveling back to the streams where they were hatched. As soon as the salmon reaches fresh water, it stops eating. It starts swimming against the current of the river. When it comes to a waterfall, it tries to jump over it. It is this habit that has earned the salmon its scientific name, Salmo Salar, which means leaping salmon. It sometimes takes the salmon a whole year before it reaches the stream that it will swim into. Each stream has its own characteristic chemical compositions, and the salmon goes up the stream that is most like the stream in which it was born. When the salmon swims up the stream, it stops at a shallow part where the bottom is covered with gravel. Here the female digs a hole four to six inches deep. While she's doing this, a male also stops at that place. He does not help her dig, but chases other males away. When the female is ready to lay her eggs, the male comes up and lies along her side. Exactly at the same time that she lays her eggs, he releases his sperm. The eggs become fertilized, and the female now covers them with gravel, which protects the eggs. She then moves on and digs another hole in which to lay more eggs. She continues this until she has laid all her eggs. After spawning, most salmon are so exhausted they die. Only a few make it back to the sea to return to the spawning grounds the next year. Salmon can, at most, spawn four times and live to be 13 years old.